We have another storage option for your Mac. Let's talk about it. Welcome back to the channel. So today we have another product showcase. And today what I have in my hand here, this is the Oracle MiniMate Pro external SSD. Now it says it's for your M4 and M4 Pro Mac Mini, but you can really use this for any Mac. And I'll show you some of the marketing. Obviously they put it right on top of the Mac Mini and it fits perfectly on there. It looks really good there. And also here's some pictures that I took of it. But overall it's for your M4, M4 Pro Mac Mini. But realistically it's a hard drive that you can use with any computer that has the right connections. All right, so in the video, I'm gonna go through the pros and cons of this device here. Now, it's kind of more of a product showcase because I haven't had it super long. I can't test it long term. But overall, I wanna show you kind of some of the good features of this, but also the pros and cons. Now, the crazy thing here is, I think the biggest pro can also be a small con. And how is that possible? Well, stay tuned for the video because we're gonna find out. Okay, don't, don't be afraid. So if you go to the website, and obviously on Amazon, you're gonna see that it's kind of marketed towards the M4 and M4 Pro Mac Mini. Of course, it fits right on top, but it should work with any Mac. In fact, I tested it on my M2 MacBook Air over here, and it works perfectly fine. It's pre-formatted in XFAT, so that makes me believe it should work on a Windows PC as well, as long as you have a Thunderbolt connection. But I went ahead and I reformatted this to APFS, just because I wanna put some apps from the Mac on there. So I went ahead and I reformatted it over, just full disclosure there as well, on how the testing will go. But either way, if you're not even that technical, you just want things to work out of the box, you just plug it in, it'll work perfectly fine on a Mac and XFAT as well. So you can go ahead and just leave it the way it is, plug it in, it works right away. Okay, so next is gonna be build quality and also how this sits on top of your Mac. Two important things here. So build quality is actually really good. It's made out of a metal all around except for the bottom. The bottom is made out of a plastic. It looks almost exactly like the Mac Mini if you look at it, the bottom of it. It's obviously the same dimensions except just a little bit thinner there as well. But I think, I've seen people put this both on top of your Mac Mini and below it. From my testing, you want to put it on top, all right? If you put it on top, it does not affect the Wi-Fi barely at all. If you put it on bottom, you're going to probably get some effect to it because the metal is sitting right where that signal is. So I think putting it on top is a better, and that's the way that they kind of market it as well. So just keep that in mind. Okay, and I think the design looks great. Now overall on the back, there's really just all metal around except for the back. On the back, it's got like a, a Thunderbolt port, I'm believing, it says 40 gigabit per second. I guess it's a Thunderbolt port back there, a USB-C. And then it's got like a little area here, and you're gonna explain what, what is that little area, that little black area on top. Well, that's actually because this thing has an internal fan in it. Now there's no buttons on this where I can turn the fan on or off. It's gonna always be on, and we'll talk about that in a second as well. But just keep in mind that this does have a fan, and there's like a little vent on the back. Besides that, though, it's very, very clean. Okay, so in the box, and here's the box. I'll show you some pictures of the box here. But in the box, you don't get too much. You get the device there, but you get two different cables. And here's the short cable here. I'll show you a close-up. It says 40 gigabit per second on this cable. It's a nice little braided cable. It's really, really short, maybe, uh, I don't know, less than six inches there. So then you get that cable, but you also get this longer cable, which is three feet. Look at this thing. It goes way over here. It's a black one. I believe it's Thunderbolt as well. So, you know, when I tested it, it had the same speed, so I'm believing it is as well. But why do they give you two cables? That's going to be in the pros and cons. So why do they give you two cables? here. I think there's a reason for it and we're going to explain that in a second. But you do get two cables which is nice in case you want to obviously put it close or further away. Okay, so number one, this comes in different versions. They sent me the 512 gigabyte version, which is the slowest version. It also comes in one terabyte, two terabytes, and four terabytes as well for the pro version of this. Now, depending on the version you pick up, the speeds are gonna be completely different, and we're gonna cover that in a second. But just keep in mind that on the box here, like mine says up to 3,800 megabytes per second here, you can see it down here. It's not gonna reach that with the 512 gigabyte version. You need to buy the higher version. So it's kind of misleading, but at the same time, we're gonna kind of show you exactly what you're gonna get. And I still think it's a great value. All right, really quickly, pricing right over here on my screen. Here it is right here, the Oracle MiniMate Pro. You can see right now it's $99 for the 512 gigabyte version. And, uh, and then one terabyte is 149, two terabytes is 199, and then four terabytes is 399. And it also comes with this little price coupon here. See it here, so it's gonna be like five or six bucks off. I'll also have a, a, a in my description, I'm gonna go ahead and give you a code. I hope it'll work for you. Definitely try it out, it's worth a try. Should give you a little bit more off as well. But for this cost, I think 94 bucks for even 512, I think that's not the sweet spot. I think the sweet spot's gonna be one terabyte. One terabyte for 149 bucks. Let's just see what the discount is. If I click on this, it's gonna give me a little bit of a discount, 142. Because if you think about it, if you're 
you're buying a 40 gigabit per second enclosure and a one terabyte drive, you're gonna be right around this price. That's why I think it's really, really good, kind of a good deal there. And you don't have to do it yourself, all right? So the pricing I think is very fair here, but it really depends on the speeds you're gonna get. That's where it comes down to. And, and so I think this is probably not the best model, the 512. I mean, it's still a good value, and I'm gonna show you why, but I think the one terabyte or the two terabyte are the sweet spots on cost and speed. So let's get into the speeds. Okay, so on the one they sent me, which is the 512 gigabyte version, what I was seeing is, was about 1600 megabytes per second on the writes, 2100 on the reads. So obviously that's substantially lower than the 3800 on the box but that's only the 512 gigabyte version. So obviously it's way faster than a 10 gigabit per second version. That's gonna give you maybe 800, it's almost double that. So just if you think for the cost of that, let's say you try to you know go out and buy a cheap 10 gigabit per second connection, you're only gonna get probably eight or 900. Here you're getting 1600 and 2100, which is actually a pretty big jump up. But if you really want the sweet spot, you wanna go with the other versions. So I did some research online because I don't have those versions from other providers. It looks like if you go with the one terabyte version, you should get around 2,800 to 3,000 megabytes per second on this for the one terabyte version. If you go with the two terabyte version, you're gonna be up over 3,000, somewhere around 3,200 megabytes per second. And if you go with the four terabyte version, you're gonna be closer to that 3,800, but still probably like around 34, 3,500 in a perfect environment. So long story short, they have the speed there. And it's just this the lower model that doesn't have it as much, but it's still a good value at you know, under 100 bucks because you're getting double the speed of just a normal 10 gigabit per second enclosure. So you got to take that with a grain of salt when you're comparing all this stuff, but it's important to know what you're getting and don't trust the box on this one, but the other ones, it's a lot more accurate. Okay, now here's the most important thing, the pros and the cons. Let's start with the pros. So I think the price versus performance, like I just said, even on the lower model is worth it, right? If you were to build these yourself, you're going to be spending at least that much and maybe more, and you're not going to have it pre-built in this nice kind of aluminum format that fits your Mac Mini perfectly. So I think overall they have that nailed, including two cables for that cost as well. You can even use one of those cables for something else if you want to, another 40 gigabit per second cable. So I think that's number one on the pros. It's actually pretty good. The number two thing is that fan, right? And this is a pro, and this is going to be the con as well. So the fan, as far as the pro, is it keeps this thing pretty cool. I was doing transfers like up to 50, around 50 gigabytes, and the speed was staying pretty consistent, this thing never really heated up. I mean, it would get a little bit warm. I mean, when I say warm, I mean very, very light. You could almost you know, feel it, but nothing like some of the other enclosures. So if you're somebody that like gets all worried when you have an enclosure on your desk, I know a lot of people out there ask me this, and it gets so hot it feels like it's gonna start on fire. This is the huge advantage of this is because it's got that always on fan, and that fan works really hard, and it keeps it pretty cool, absolutely. So you know, if you're one of those people that need it to be cool, you just don't like a fire, fire hazard sitting on your desk. This is actually really good for it. I mean, overall, I love it for that because it's, and I feel the bottom of it. Like I said, the you know, I, you know, I only did up to 50 gigabytes of testing. Like I said, it's initial review or initially just a showcase, but overall it never really got hot. And compared to some of my other ones that get hot all the time, this really was doing a good job. Okay, let's go through the cons now. And there's really only one of them. I just kind of pointed it out with the fan. So if you're somebody that wants a perfectly silent room, you bought a Mac mini for that exact reason, this probably won't be for you, all right? Because you are gonna hear that fan. Now, the reason they give you those two cables, like I mentioned, including the super long cable, is because it's gonna basically give you the option of moving it away from your Mac Mini, moving it away a little bit further from your ears. You're still gonna be able to hear it though. So if you're a purist and you need absolute silence, you know, nothing can be going on, this is, again, probably not the product for you. If you're somebody that actually fears very hot enclosures sitting on your desk and you don't mind the actual sound of it, maybe you have an air conditioning going, maybe you have other things like traffic like outside your window, you just don't care. Or maybe even you only plug it in, you know, X amount of times, maybe for backups and then you unplug it and stuff like that, then this could be perfect for you because it controls that heat. That's kind of my take on this product. So you look at some of the reviews on these things and a lot of people always are complaining about the fans. That's the number one thing, you know, that you're gonna hear. But I look at it as both a positive and a negative because some people, you know, they, they want different products, right? This is kind of filling that little niche there and it looks good on top of it. Okay, let's wrap this up. Check out the video description for that little code and see if that works for you. You know who you are. I just kind of laid it out for you. So whether you're that person or that person, this could be right for you. I like it. I don't mind it. And we're going to wrap this one up. We'll talk to you the next one. Peace.